okay, here's how you can record your shows on your most of your favorite streaming services, free and legal. People have a, is this legal? Yes, it is legal, as long as you're not sharing the files and or selling the files or stuff like that for your own personal use. It's already been through the courts about this is just time shifting, which is legal, so you can watch this at your own time. Basically, we're going to use an app called Audios, and I got Audios 1. I did upgrade to 2025 version, and it's basically like a VCR for lack of better terms, for streaming services. Then you can use this for audio and or music. Very, very easy. When you get to the home screen here, we're going to go right down to the left over here to record what most of you want to learn. Again, this is very top view down. There's a lot more features in here than I'm going to show you. This is just basic, basic. Highly recommend this software. It's really good. Um, you can uh, uh, go in and get what you want. So right here, if you go to video streaming, and in here, here are some of the services up here, and you can go to other, but you can go down here. Here's all of them in alphabetical order. So there is a lot. And the nice thing about this one, it does cut out commercials on a lot of your, on a lot of your uh, services. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Basically, if you, we're going to show you how to do a video and then how to do a batch of videos. If you just want to do a bunch, just to do one video, we're going to go into Netflix here. Don't worry about this air. That's because I'm doing a screen recording. We're going to go continue. Here's your initial settings. A couple ones you want to. You want it internal if you can. Speed. If you have a little decent of a machine uh, and you're not going to watch it on here, you can go two speed. It gets done twice as fast. Or you can go to one, or if it comes out really bad, test it too. If everything works out good, you're good. Resolution, here's where you can pick your resolution. And ads, you can mark or you can skip. You can hit skip. What the mark is going to do, and I'll show you where it is, it's going to mark where the commercials and the ads are so you can remove them later or bypass it later because this is also a player for you too. Or you can skip them and it won't even record them. And then if you go in here to record, it's going to open up and right inside the Netflix here. And here's where you can find out uh, where you want to record. So uh, let's say you want to record. Uh, I had episode I recorded one, but we'll go in here and we'll record another episode of uh, Seinfeld. I'll show you. Just hit record. That's gonna so I'm online record. at the supermarket. And right here, <laughs> click from the beginning, Two women click record. So I'm online at the supermarket. You can see how it's going a little faster. One of them are told it was $8, the other $3. Now, I am going to stop this just so uh, it's not going there. You can see it's finishing up here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this recording right here that I already did. That's basically how you record an episode. Now, to record a batch... You can go to batch, add video cues. We'll go to Netflix. And here's how easy it is here. We're going to go back to Seinfeld again. And if you want the whole season, just start playing it. And I'm going to pause this right away. Do you know what this is all? Pause. If you go to the queue up here, you can select all. You can, it'll get all of them in that season. If there's 5, 5, 10, 10, 20, 20, whatever it is, add 5 to queue. Go to show queue. And here's your cue, and you just play and record down here. So that's it. I'm just going to remove everything out of the cue to make sure there's nothing there. But that's the difference between batch and video. Now, it can't batch everything, all the services, but it does quite a few. And it will get rid of the commercials, which is nice. Now, here's one I did earlier, Seinfeld, episode one, season one. If you go into the dots and you go to edit file, and if you go to tags, here's where you can edit the meta tags. Season 1, Episode 1, everything you want in here. If you go to video, here's where you can edit the video. If you want to cut parts out, uh, if you record, so let's say you record something and there's a commercial the first 40 seconds, you can cut the first 40 seconds out. And, you know, here's where you can uh, just kind of go through the video and do what you want. And subtitles, if you want to go to the subtitles here. 
And if you want to go in here, there's two ways. If you go to Edit Files, down to uh, Improve, or if you uh, go into here uh, to Improve Files, it goes to the same. Here's where you can upscale it to a higher resolution. It does a really good job. Uh, you can insert frames, convert, uh, boost speech, or you can convert the format. Uh, by default, it records it uh, in a, a, a web file. Uh, if you want it H.264, just transform it, convert it to H.264. If you want it to record H.264 every time, just go to the settings, options, video recording settings, and customize here and change it to what you want to record it. So every time it records it, it's in that format there. That's basically how to record like a VCR online. Now, Music Stream, do the same thing with Music Stream. Uh, Amazon Music, Spotify, you can go in and record playlists. You can go in and record individual songs or anything like that. And it'll tag them and organize them and everything for you there. Another thing you can do is radio. And here's what I do. I got another video, a link to it at the end here. How to listen to American Top 40 free. All you got to do is start playing it and click record show. Not, re not record songs, record show. And it'll start recording right where you're at and it'll end right where you're at. So I got some of those uh, American Top 40s out there playing right there. And uh, what you can also do in here in, into the music, uh, you can go in here. It, it finds different places here's where your music is and you can see what you want and here's where your video files are in here and here's where if you want to start building some music files up where you can see it's really powerful where you can go in here and just click record and just let it go and play those music so which is pretty nice and everything like that but that's basically an overview of audio's one and audio is basically the program how to use it to record audio and video it's very easy to use i just just playing with it to find what you want uh, i use this for i'll grab a few movies and a few tv shows before i take a trip somewhere and then i have them on my phone or my tablet i don't have to worry about downloading them or putting them on my phone i'm not doing anything they're just there that's it i hope this was a good video for everybody if, found this useful, please like and subscribe it. I do appreciate that. Uh, and let me know down below what show you would record first if you had this. I'm curious about that. Thank you very much. Everybody have a good day.